Hey guys, on this video I'm gonna discuss the changes I made after I uploaded my initial video in installing Arch Hyperland on NVIDIA. So I'm making this video because then it will be a short, say if I go through again after I change everything, then it's gonna be a long video, so it's gonna be a short video. So if you have watched and followed my initial video, which I'm gonna put on the description, um, there are some additional or changes I made in there. So first thing is, after you boot, you will be greeted with a different um, layout of the waybar. So now in my case, I changed it to uh, numbers only. And then of course in here you got the CP still CPU, you got the CPU temperature and RAM usage. And if you right click both of these, then you'll BTAP will launch. And then on the temperature, you just right click. And this one is automatic that it will detect your location. Oh, no, it's, oh there. And then I, I add here this little penguin. This is like a start menu button. So the D menu or Wofi will actually launch. Of course, the shortcut, which is super D still there. Super shift D, the uh, big uh, or more menu. On the middle, there is a calendar. If you click it, then it will change and then if you just hover you get the month calendar overview and if you right click then you get the whole year overview out here you got this uh, like a lock screen lock so just a sway lock and then of course you got the network manager nm applet for the uh, network connection so just clicking, you can choose here, enable or disable the Wi-Fi if desired. And Blue Man Manager, you can just uh, right click and then turn on and turn off and so on. And of course, this is my system trends and I have the OBS. And if you install also the ASUS um, CTL, then you get this RNG control center here. Of course, all this behavior you can always change. And out here, of course, I'll just show you if you right click on the um, power charger you get this normal blur or you got this glass morphosis system like a more blur so if you notice on the background here then of course got the brightness control and volume control and down and of course the mic level now both of this, if you just click it, it will mute. And then out here, get the uh, W lag out. Okay, so the first thing that I changed is, let me just change to my, and zoom in. LS, if you download or synchronize the a repo you will notice here that i added the peru hyperland this is for the people who wanted the do want to do use peru instead of hyperland uh, or yay which is on my first video now i didn't change anything on the yay bean or the or the initial one which is the installed hyperland i didn't change anything of that but on peru if let's say you run that one let's just clear beam paru hyperland if you if you check on it this will just ask you that if you don't have any paru then of course it will install the paru dash bin now it's up to you if you want to change this to paru dash git but you need to make sure to change the paru uh, bin same with the this paru kit and so on and so forth 
and the other thing is I have not changed here the Hyperland NVIDIA kit because uh, because then it's like it's more for NVIDIA however or if you have observed last yesterday or the other day Hyperland now is on the community repo now of course the Hyperland git the Hyperland all these git versions in the AUR is still there but also before I record before I record my the uh, this one this video I observed that if I use the Hyperland NVIDIA git for some reason I cannot I cannot um, share or I cannot record my screen same as what I'm doing now it's just stuck on on one place which is kind of annoying but maybe it's a bug or I don't know I don't know so now I'm using the hyperland and I actually I use it for some few hours and then I change it back again but it seems that the hyperland Nvidia gate is doesn't work on me and also if you have downloaded or used the 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 scripts on my um, repo let's just say cd config ls if let's say uh, let's I'm, I will show you on the which is installed on my the one which is now uploaded is it's what I have now can I zoom this yeah I can also before I go further into the settings one thing that I changed yeah I changed actually this um, where is that now this install hyperland I changed it and I remove the no I will remove this LX appearance I will remove this LX appearance because actually when I put it on the this Paru Hyperland I change it to NW look and the NW look actually it's actually it's much better because then you can even increase the font in here you can tweak as much and it works a lot better than LX appearance of course if LX appearance works on you that's great that's great but in my case the NW bean is uh, working better then of course for any QT apps you have the QT5 settings still which you can tweak to your desire for any QT apps and then on my config if you use the config that I uploaded on the repo mm, going to the hyper waybar for example waybar you can change I, I'm set in here there is a style change there are three styles that I have uploaded and you can just change this style I can just show it to you so if you notice my high bar now color change and this is for the one who likes colors but I notice that these workspaces for some reason they got smaller and the only way to fix this is of course log out and log in if you know how to fix it please let me know so I can fix it as well and then the other thing if you notice here the background this was from the previous style so if I change back to default which I'm using there seems to be a color background see here the penguin is still there so again if you know how to fix please please just let me know so I can also update my repo and another thing that I have added oh on the exec executable for the NVIDIA 
for example here I dis if you notice here I disabled but before I record I have this all enabled and it was working fine but if I before I record I test it I do a test screen recording it doesn't work so play around with this play around with this and I'm sure also that if especially if you have a discrete NVIDIA unfortunately I cannot test because I have a hybrid graphics meaning I have the iGPU and then the GPU and it will just uh, change over if let's say I'm playing games the NVIDIA discrete TVU will will take over if I finish the game the AMD iGPU will take over so okay if you have any question or doubts then please let me know if you have a again suggestion improvements on the repo please let me know you can also open an issue in there uh, so that so that it can just fix and then make it better for everybody all right guys that's it thank you very much for listening i hope you have a good day out here in busan it's now raining or light rain so take good care have a nice day bye